Din dir in din dir in din dir in dan ja din dir in din. Hi, I'm Gidney Walkup, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the entirety of Morozzo's assault for the partisan. So, in the previous videos, I've gone through individual parts, um, and I've shown the applications. And in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on putting it all together and making it into one flowing movement. Um, now, since I filmed the first part um, quite a few weeks ago now, um, I've translated the first section um, for myself and had a little bit of a look after some feedback from some people on Facebook about it. Um, and I've actually changed the interpretation. So I'm going to show the first part, the salute, on its own because it's different to what I've previously filmed as well. So we'll go through that and then I'll go through the entirety of the first assault as one thing together. We'll begin with the salute. So um, there's a few differences from previously. One is just a bit of a reminder to focus in on some stuff about the feet. You want your right foot ever so slightly forwards of the left. And I typically do this with this sort of opening of the body, a little bit how it is shown as a uh, guardia alter in the sword and buckler assault. So this is the opening of the body. You can see my feet are a little bit turned out. My right foot is slightly forwards and I'm putting the heel of the partisan near the point of my right foot. So from here, I'm going to turn my body left at the same time as making a kind of a wheel with the partisan on my left side or a turn. And I'm going to be stepping back on the diagonal and making the reverence and coming up and changing hands as I do and then stepping towards my right side with my left foot and making a big circle with the partisan there and then stepping forwards with the left foot so that I can face the opponent and come into guard and begin the approach. So that's um, the differences in the salute from the side and now I'll show you that same action from the front. So open body, right foot slightly forwards, heel of the partisan near the point of the right foot, stepping back on the diagonal, big circle up with the body, right with the left foot, center with the left foot, feet nice and far apart, partisan up, exposing my lower legs as I approach and continue with the rest of the assault. So that's the salute on its own. And now we'll do the whole form kind of together and I'll show you that from the side. Um, I should say here that normally with one of these assaulty, you would expect to finish where you begun. But if you do the text as written, um, you actually end up a little bit further back than where you began. So I think that there's supposed to be some added in forward steps here, but I'm not sure exactly where because Morozzo hasn't told us. And that's fairly common, unfortunately, that he elides some instructions. So we have to sort of work them out for ourselves. So if you want to insert some more forwards movement somewhere in this, go for it. I'm just going to be showing the, the text as written exactly. So you will need a little bit more space behind you than, than you think. So from the side, We'll begin with the salute. Uh, so it's reverence up with a circle on your left side, stepping to the right, circling on your right side, stepping centered into a normal position, raising the partisan up and covering your high line so that your lower leg um, is exposed and then advancing forwards. One, two, three, four advances forwards. Morozzo calls this driving your left leg forwards with your right. And from here we parry an attack to the lower leg and strike. And that's part two. And then we go back to our cover with the point down. Now I'm exposing the high line and this is part three. So the attack is on the high line, parry, strike, one, two, three passes back on the diagonal. Any attack now has to be on my left side. So I'm going to make a circle to parry that and then advance forwards with the left foot striking towards the face. As the opponent parries, I let my partisan go down towards their leg, cut or a thrust to the leg, let it touch the ground here and step together, raising my partisan up and kind of covering that side. And then I can change hands as I step back with my left foot. Now I've got my right hand forwards and this gives me some strong advantages when I do my disengage. So I'm going to attack on one side of the partisan, um, on the 
on my left of their partisan and then disengage as they parry and strike on their left side, my right side. And then I'm going to slice their arm as I come back, bring my right foot back a little bit into this position, which is kind of analogous to Porta de Ferro Larga. And then when they attack me on the high line here, I'm going to parry and then slice their hand. And then here, Morozzo says two or three passes back. And it kind of has to be three because of where we end up. So it's going to be one, two, and three. And that's the end of the fifth part. Now the sixth part, I'm going to begin an attack on the same side. So on um, my left side, their right side, disengage under their parry and strike on their left side, my right side. And now as I'm drawing my partisan back, I'm going to be attacked and I make one of two parries. But because this is a form, I find it best to make the circling down parry because I kind of like that parry a little bit better. And it's the one that Morozzo says is really good. So I'm going to circle down and parry below as I come back slightly. And now there's no further instructions. And so I'll just finish feet together. Here I am. So I'll show you that now kind of without talking through it. I might just say first part, second part, third part as we go, but just get the flow going. So again, first part. Second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part, sixth part. finish. I'll show you that from the front now. Second part. Third part. Fourth part. Fifth part. Sixth part. Finished. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed the journey.